Why do you smell like shrimp? Come here. Hey. <laughs> Something smells like rotting shrimp. Was that was that the shrimp? No, it's the uh, mullet bait. I was wondering where it was. I looked in all my freezers. Well, it was in the back of my truck for the last week and a half. <laughs> well, she smells like dead mullet now. <laughs> Come here, Don. Come. Is it? No, that'll be good bait for the catfish. So I guess we might consider this the the first full-fledged day of uh, the season here, because uh, the boat's been parked on the side of the whatever, hasn't been in the water in a long time because it's been blown and cold and, well, not cold like what you up north experience is cold, but what we regard as cold. So, off we go. And we've got ridiculously good weather today. It's just, uh, I call it California weather because it's like 60s and 70s and low humidity and not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> we'll take it. We almost forgot one thing, which is to undo the latch here. And the captain was just going to gun the boat and drag it backwards, which probably would have dragged the truck into the water and made him a starring feature on boat ramp fails. Look at that. The boat's already floating. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a push and we're off to the races. Oops. It's like a brand new crank. Brand new okay. Give the boat a shove. You probably should drive the car away. Who knows? And there you go. The Queen Mary has been launched. Good girl. Lucy's on board. You ready to go, Bruce? Oh yeah. We'll find a spot. Well, she's claimed her seat. Well, about six years ago, Yankee Town housing buildings, homes, or a screaming bargain. And I do mean screaming, you know, like waterfront for under a six figure number that starts with a two, under 200,000. Can't really touch that now. Yeah, but give it 10 more years, it'll be double what it is now. Yeah, it'll be double, or there'll be another crash. <laughs> All right, we're gonna drop anchor right in here. This is where we saw the Eagles steal the Osprey's lunch. Famous moment in uh, boating history for us. Here's what I'm gonna use. I bought this lure at Walmart, nice sporty looking little thing. And it's caught in fish before, so I'm gonna try this. All right, the software guy here is, <laughs> is doing a little origami job here. Yeah, there's one last knot here. It's a big tangle of anchor ropes. And he's trying to get it undone. That's a, there goes nothing. This time I'll We've moved, right Lucy? New spot. Well, we're out here at the uh, Spoils Island, also known as No Fish Island, for a change of pace, the open gulf. See what happens. I'm gonna catch them now, I got bites. Fish bites, those little things that look like bubble gum, but they catch fish, supposedly. Success. It's one of those little perchy things. Well, those would make great bait if we were out in the deeper water. Right. We caught a fish. Well, he caught a fish. <laughs> you caught it, we watched. A double. Ah! I got a trout. Whoa. <laughs> Get too Look close. Look at that. What do you got on there? Just a a trout and uh, one of those little perchy jig things. Head, red jig head with a fish bite. Don't eat him there. Wow, that's a nice looking trout. Not quite a keeper, but nice fish. Look at that guy. And another one. We have this little scavenger over here who's going to scarf something up if we're not careful. And then there's this guy who's way too close to the boat for a wild cormorant. You want something? Oh, look at this. You wave your hand at him and he's been fed. He knows the trick. The corner on that's ah, not a trap. Yep. He hit pretty good. Look, dog. What is it, Lucy? Oh, 
What did she do there? Oh, she's got a, she pulled a muscle or something. Oh, right. right. Now watch this. Get ready, I'm gonna throw it to that pelican. <laughs> <laughs> ready? He got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> now you've just trained him to come. What? You think you're gonna scare them away with that kind of? Get those bad dogs, Lucy. Well, 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 another perch. All right, this happened way too quick. Whoa! No, stay back. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm trying to get my camera running. Nice trout. Where's the Where's the measuring device? 13, 12. All right, he's 13 inches, so he's going back. Now, I got to fool that guy. Ooh, it goes that way. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Fooled you. I, I gave him a, a head fake and fooled him completely. Good for me. The captain is just reeling him in one after another. If he were a trawler, he'd be pulling perch in left and right. And somebody wants him. We had a little excitement here. We tried to anchor on No Fish Island and the wind was so heavy it blew the, blew the anchor out of the sand. And I had to grab the helm here because off we went. And now we're coming back to pick up the captain who's been fishing on the island here. Okay, so here's the interesting conundrum of this trip. I know it's not a conundrum. Here's the interesting factoid of this trip. There are three of us here, and as you may have noticed, nobody's wearing a mask, and why is that? Three people on this boat have had five shots, which means someone on this boat has only had one shot. So they're only 90% immune to the plague. Who would that be? Would it be you? No. <laughs> would it be the captain? Has he had his two shots? I don't care, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I die when I die. That's what everybody says. Well, I'm not ashamed to say I've got one shot, number two is tomorrow. And I go from 90 to 100. So I'm gonna go over and kiss the greeter at the door at a well-known discount uh, department store area. <laughs> Probably hard to see it from here, but there's a bald eagle up in that tree back there. Get the better, I get the big camera and get a shot of it. Here's your bald eagle. Ah. Well, as we head back in, someone has jumped into his lure collection. Oh, and you're showing off all your $25 yeah. lures. The ones you can't afford to fish with and lose. <laughs> nice, nice collection. And as we head back in, he is trolling. Futilely, probably, but what the heck. It's a nice, nice uh, late learned afternoon. My, learned my equipment. Oh, okay. I'm more peaceful right here than out there in the out in the boat channel where we're fighting the current and worried about getting run over and everything. It's quiet. Here's a little uh, primordial action moment here with the uh, wildlife. There's a vulture eating a turtle. Well, it looks like he's going to leave. We got to go up and see what it is he's got. Did you have a good day, Lucy? Yes, you did. We were coming back into town here and uh, somebody was trolling and started retrieving and managed to catch a boat dock. <laughs> Better stand up, Rick. Reach out and unhook it from the cleat there. It's a nice catch, but uh, uh, you know, I don't think we'll be able to keep, we'll be, we won't be able to keep this. All right, we're all done for the day <laughs> and we didn't even miss the, you, you missed the best part of it. And I'll show you what happened. <laughs> we drove by a tree and caught the tree. And my other swift fishing pole caught the tree. So we had quite the little uh, MCF going on here. Yeah, there it is, nobody knows what that means. Anyway, good day, it's springtime. Lots of critter life out there in the Gulf. 
Five out of six shots administered. It'll be six out of six after tomorrow. Life is good in springtime Florida. Good night, everybody.